Hello, welcome to this video on equations of lines in 3D. We know about equations of lines in 2D. Now we want to look at equations of lines in 3D. This is a beginning of a, a series of videos on equations of lines and planes uh, in space. And so we're going to derive the formula and look at an example in this one video. All right. So what do you need in order to find an equation of a line in 2D? Uh, you needed a point that was on the line and the slope of the line. All right, what do you need to find an equation of a line in 3D? Well, it's gonna start off the same way. You're gonna need a point that's on the line, but when it comes to a slope, that's not gonna be the case. Something that will play the role of the slope is a direction vector for the line. So I'm generically calling my point on the line P sub zero, or I'll call it P naught. So it has generic coordinates X naught, Y naught, Z naught. And the direction vector for the line is gonna be generically with the components A, B, and C. All right, so let's go ahead and put our framework in 3D. There's our point that's on the line, P naught. There's our direction vector for the line, V. And so I'm going to draw in then the line that goes through P naught and has the same direction as V. It goes on forever in all directions. And our job to be able to figure out how to come up with the formula for that line. A formula that will be able to give you any point that is on that line. Okay, notice how V is tied down to the origin. Okay, I'm going to have a vector then that goes from the origin up to our point that's on the line. The name of that vector is gonna be called R naught. Initial point's the origin, terminal point is the P naught. What we need to do is take any generic point that is any other generic point that's on the line. We have the specific point, sorry, not generic. We have a specific point, P naught, and we want any other point that's on the line. Call that other point P. Generically, it has coordinates X, Y, Z. In the end, I want to be able to describe an equation that will tell me exactly how to find any point X, Y, Z on the line. So if I have this vector who goes from the origin up to P naught, next up then will be a vector who goes from the origin up to P. <clears throat> what we're gonna find out when we get to the, um, the next major unit is <clears throat> any equation that's gonna explain uh, the path of motion in 3D <clears throat> generally has the, the name R. It's a vector equation in general. And so <clears throat> my origin, is zero 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 and my point that's the terminal point is uh my, my initial point is the origin my terminal point is x y z <clears throat> so i have my vector r which will tell me exactly um where i'm at it'll point from the origin to any point that's on the line and we're going to allow this thing to move back and forth any point that's on the line <clears throat> so what we need to introduce then is a a, a parameter I like to call it a time parameter because I use the letter T for it. What do we notice? If I was to connect the vector, the point um, P naught to P, the thing about that vector that you get from that is that it definitely points in the same direction as V. Um, and what we're going to say is that it is a scalar multiple of V, two vectors that point in the same direction or even opposite directions. They are scalar multiples of each other. So there's some constant that is multiplied by your vector to get the other vector. So that constant is gonna be my parameter. That constant is gonna be T. All right, now let's go and get the, um, the components of each of these vectors. Let's start with R naught. How do you write R naught in, in sort of V brace or IJK notation, R naught, is the vector between P naught and the origin. The terminal is P naught, the origin is the initial. The way you get a vector between two points is you subtract 
the terminal minus that initial um, coordinate. So x not minus nothing and y not minus nothing and z not minus nothing. That's your vector r not. What about the vector r? Well, x minus nothing and y minus nothing and z minus nothing. X, y, z. What about the vector that goes from p not to p? It's called t, v. We already know what v is. V, v is a, b, c. So t multiplied by a, b, c, the vector a, b, c. We have all the three players in the mix. How are they related to each other? It turns out that if you were to add together r not to tv, you get r. Right? Remember how we did vector addition? We attached the, uh, the initial point on the tail. And we get the diagonal of the parallelogram. Yeah, R is equal to R naught plus TV. The initial point of the second vector gets attached to the, the um, terminal point of the first vector. And then you uh, go from the initial of the first to the terminal of the second. Yeah, that's your vector addition. Great. And you could actually use this as your equation of the line. The name of it is the vector equation of the line. Well, let's see it in the V brace. Now that we have all these V brace, the V brace versions of these guys, we have X, Y, Z equals. And if I add R naught to, to, um, to TV, I have X naught plus AT and Y naught plus BT and Z naught plus CT. And, and, and that's, that could be the equation of the line. It's not the format that we normally use though. Okay. Instead, what we're going to do is just equate the components. On the left-hand side, I have x in the i component. On the right-hand side, I have x naught plus at in the i component. Those better be equal to each other. x is equal to x naught plus at. y is equal to y naught plus bt. z is equal to z naught plus ct. The wording of the, the first line that says equations of lines in 3D. There's multiple equations. There are three equations here, and they are called the parametric equations of the line. This is our go-to form. Just like you have in, in, in 2D, y equals mx plus b, y minus y not equals m times x minus x. Just like, just like you have that, more than one you know way of writing the equation of a line, same thing's gonna happen in 3D, but the you have your most favorite, the one you use most often, maybe it's y equals mx plus b. Well here, the one that we use most often is this set of three equations called the parametric equations. Okay. If you were to take this and eliminate the parameter t, you solve for t in each one of them. You'll have t equals x minus x naught over a, t equals y minus y naught over b, t equals z minus z naught over c, and this set here, where we have these two equal signs and the three things all being equated to each other, that can actually be thought of as the equation of the equations of the line. Okay, the name of that one is called symmetric equations of the line. All right, great. Well, let's see it in action. Let's see an example. I'm going to give you two points. Five, one, three is the first point. 3, negative 2, 4 is the second point. Job, find the vector. I'm sorry, no, find the equation of the line that contains these two points. Two things that you need. A point that's on the line and the direction vector for the line. When it comes to a point that's on the line, pick either one. You have, you have two of them. When it comes to the direction vector, you can either go from the one that's on the left to the right or the one that's on the right to the left. It doesn't matter. Use the vector from one point to the other. Let's go from, um, let's subtract, uh, let's find the vector from, P, call the first guy P, call the second guy Q. From P to Q, we'll do 3 minus 5, minus 2 minus 1, 4 minus 3. We get the vector negative 2, negative 3, 1. We have everything we need. Now, the way this thing is written, we have x equals y equals z equals. Now, x is x naught plus at, and y is y naught plus bt, and z is z naught plus ct. So we have the point x naught y naught z naught, 
and we have the direction vector ABC. We have what we need. We just plug them in. Either point. Let's take the point 5, 1, 3. And let's take the direction vector negative 2, negative 3, 1. Those are the coefficients on T. That's it. You did it. You just found the equation of uh, the, the parametric equations of the line that contains those two points. When T is 0, you'll find yourself at the first point, 5, 1, 3. And it turns out by the way you set this up, when T is equal to 1, you'll find yourself at the second point, 3, negative 2, 4. All right. This video is getting a little long. Let's go ahead and stop it right here. My name is Nakaya Rimmer. I'm here to help you through this journey of multivariable calculus. Right now, it's just vectors. We're looking at, this is actually our first vector function. We're on our way to looking at vector functions, and we're going to do some calculus on our way into multivariable calculus. Um, please uh, comment down below or like and subscribe. If you have any questions, don't, don't be afraid. Reach out to me, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.